It had intrigued me for a long time. A place of pure chaos, no rules. A server where the very threads of the game are stretched and torn. No longer a pastoral landscape like most servers. This place at its core where everyone spawns is a barren, toxic wasteland. Littered with the remnants of forgotten monoliths, it's prowled by powerful enemies and hungry scavengers with murderous intent. I wanted to survive this place, a true challenge. And so I joined 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. I was determined, but I had no idea about the storm that was bearing down on me. I started moving fast. I knew I needed to escape the spawn area as quickly as possible. All right, we're in. This was the most dangerous area of the map. I had to be on my guard. This is not ideal. See, the spawn looks like this from above, a chaotic jumble of blocks. It's been ravaged by the thousands of players over the more than decade that this server has existed. But it becomes slightly less hellish once you make it out, so there would be no food nor useful building blocks until I got very far from here. And I don't want to go to the- I want to be high up, honestly. <laughs> Bruh. Big? If I find dirt. Dirt? Love it. Dirt was a very useful find right now, since I could farm it with my hand. Love dirt. I began eyeing the nether portals I was seeing scattered around. Traveling one block in the nether is equal to traveling eight blocks in the overworld. I could escape the spawn faster, but the nether was incredibly dangerous and filled with guaranteed hostile players. Big ol' lava wall. It was sort of cheeky. I built up out of the cavern that I'd been traversing and found what seemed like some kind of road or path that someone had built. Leave this hellscape. Hey, buddy. There was a zombie here. I could kill it and take its rotten flesh. There would be no food sources for many blocks, so this could be a major boon. You will use more food than game. <laughs> it's been too long since I've seen a good brawl. Hey! What did you do that for? <laughs> Alright, so it wasn't worth. Now, I was already losing health and food, so I decided to throw caution to the wind and enter another portal. I'm going in. The nether was wild. I'd never seen anything like this. Strands of blocks reaching down to pools of lava. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I took a step back towards the portal, then turned around, and a person was there. Who are you? Oh, he's not looking at me. Oh, this man's on a boat. I'm dead. See, anything goes on 2B2T, and this player was using cheats to turn a boat into some sort of flying device. <laughs> Why did he kick me? It looked like they'd been trying to trap me with blocks, so I'd hopped into their boat and had been disconnected as a result. I reconnected and got back in the queue, then chatted with my stream as I waited. See, I was streaming this whole adventure on my Twitch, so I knew that I was unsafe everywhere on this server. The 2B2T community is infamous for tracking down content creators, so I was certain that there would be people hunting for me. The queue ticked down and I loaded in once more. I'd obviously died, so it respawned me. Now to get moving once again. I know you're not supposed to run. I just need to go straight, any direction. I'd had my first taste of 2B2T, but now my adventure was truly beginning. My goal was to escape from the spawn and get to the far safer outer regions, where I could then focus on establishing a foothold in this world. This is a hellscape. I was running along the edge of some massive pyramid structure. Jesus. What? It's a long way down. Just be able to respawn. Whoa. Yeah! Let's go high and then we'll go low. What the heck? A huge stack of enchanting tables. These were used to potentially crash the server and the computers of people playing. I, I wanna go low, actually. I feel like that is the move. I'm gonna go back over here, get on the vines. <clears throat> Why am I doing that? I was being sloppy and taking damage. Every ounce of health and food was crucial at the moment. I had to be careful. I feel like I should get low, maybe. Get low, get low, get low. Don't go too far down. Why not? I next slid down a waterfall to maybe move along the lower bedrock. Oh, the weathers like go as low as they can, I guess. <sighs> my stream chat was telling me how people in the server were actively hunting for me and discussing my presence in the in-game chat. Give us your cords. <laughs> I'm terrified. I finally found some dirt. I desperately needed this. I just need to get very far away. Sand is big. Iron. I'd seen an iron vein. Very rare in spawn, but I had no way to farm it. That is a. I'd found an ender chest. Now, these boxes were different for every player. 
Anything I put in here was safe, and it would be the same loot inside in any ender chest that I opened, so it was like a secure storage box of sorts. Crafting table? A crafting table. This was a big find. And I- oh! Oh! Portals are high risk, high reward. These are fairly common. Now, ender chests were common at spawn, but got quite rare the farther you got away from it. So that's a cloud, okay. <laughs> I was like, a large monster's approaching. A shulker box. I didn't understand at the time just how rare and fortunate of a find this was. Pop boop. Pop up. I found some obsidian as well. I put both the shulker box and obsidian away in my ender chest storage for safekeeping. I'd found a boat. This was a very lucky discovery as it could let me travel quickly across open water. Now this lake was rather small, so I picked up the boat for later use. Night was once again falling as I continued my journey to escape the spawn. That is a wall of drums. Drums in the deep. They are coming. Tree. Oh my god. A tree. This was a game changer. It meant tools, crafting, a chance for food, a huge opportunity. Okay, well that's... Bruh. That's some bullshit. I farmed the tree and grabbed the saplings. Another tree was close by. I harvested that one as well. Someone was doing God's work out here. Apple! An apple had fallen from the leaves. I needed this. God, you're so good. No! no! A big fall. I was now in a very precarious position. If I took one hit from a monster, or one more misstep, I would die and lose everything I had on me. I want to get back out there. I took a moment to get my bearings and craft tools. I then farmed stone and armed myself with some solid stone tools. Oh, I could get iron. Alright, well that's... <laughs> I climbed up out of the grotto I'd fallen into, then soon found some sort of man-made highway. It was risky, but I needed to get some good distance, so I set off down the road. Wow. I found an ender chest just off the side and put some of my loot away for safekeeping. Oh. The health bar of a wither appeared, indicating that one was nearby. I just kept moving down the road. No, I just slipped right by it. More withers appeared as I went. Some with custom names, and some with very custom names. <laughs> Get off the road! Actually, yeah, I think I should. Get off the road! After going a fair distance, I cut off from the highway. The longer I was on a main road, the more dangerous it would be. Other players were tracking my moves and looking for me, so I needed to be sneaky. Oh, Jesus Christ. As I reached the coast of what looked like a large sea, a thunderstorm began. Oh, no. A zombie was here. I had to be careful. Huge. No, did it not drop flesh? I wanted to get out of here. I tossed my boat down and set off on the sea. What is going on, man? I think I might take my boat and hop out here. Oh, Jesus. Another zombie, and another chance to get rotten flesh. I need to aggro that zombie. I don't think it can hit me. What is that? Rotten flesh and a potato. With both of these, I could likely get full hunger and hopefully gain a bit of health back. Welcome. Wood and hoe. I put wood in the hose. Okay. All right. I planted my potato, but then realized that there would be major issues growing it due to the server. I also didn't want to stay in one place for that long with all the people pursuing me. Oh no, that would kill me. That would literally kill me. I picked my potato back up and kept moving. I think it might be a big potato. With some more food and health, I set back out on the sea. Now my chat was consistently telling me that I was compromised and in imminent danger, but I'd been diligent thus far. What is that? Is that a... Oh, that's a sign. This is starting to look sort of promising. Boats are so freaking glitchy, man. After a lengthy voyage, I got back on land and continued on. That's a big boy. Portal for bulky boys. Hello there. Now I was curious where exactly I was, so I put an overlay on my stream to hide my screen and checked my coordinates. 3,300 blocks east and almost 1,000 blocks north from 00. zero. Now later on, I checked an online map of 2B2T. This was where I was now, still very close to spawn. I also found an isometric view of the snowy area I was currently in. Okay. Oh. What the hell is even that? I next found a clearing littered with purple carpets. I would have loved to know the backstory behind this. 
Alright. I'm gonna try to get apples here. Is this grief? It's a big house. The first real forest I'd seen. I chopped up a lot of wood. Breaking leaves. One. Oh. Now every leaf block that breaks is a 1 in 200 chance of dropping an apple. It was my best source of food at the moment. But I would have to stay for quite a while to harvest many. And with the players hunting me, I did not have that luxury. But I did manage to find and eat a couple. Yeah, I'm gambling right now, except the only thing I'm gambling is time. That's delicious! There's a lot of signs there. Now back at full food and health, I checked out a large structure next to me. People had left messages saying when they'd been there and giving thanks for the trees. Take what you need, plant what you can. The terrain is starting to look a bit more natural. I continued on. I still had a long way to go to get out of spawn. Whoever put these uh, little walk blocks down is the real MVP. I noticed that people had carved words and messages into the ice. I crossed a green yet utterly barren area and then came to another more forested region. This is so spooky. Here, let's see if we can get some more apples. Chopped up more trees and leaves looking for apples, but I retained my sense of urgency. Geeb! Why are there so few mobs on this server? Apple. Oh, hello. A pigman had come out of another portal. Now my chat advised me that fighting it was definitely too much risk for any potential reward. Any apples? Nope. I continued journeying outwards from spawn and then came up with an idea to stop my need to jump up every block. Crafted a bunch of slabs so that I could place them and walk up any inclines as opposed to jumping and consuming more food. Gamer tip, farm apples for food. What's my goal right now? Get at least 10k out. I found some sort of elevated highway and took off down the road away from spawn. Many people left signs along the road. Okay. Everyone's just making notes about how hungry they are. So hungry. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. I passed many signs, so I decided to add my own. Um, yeah. No, I need something more thought-provoking than that. And neither should... That's adorable! This looks untouched right here. This looks like a proc gen- oh well. Bruh. I scavenged through a little abandoned house, but there was nothing of value. I'm slabbing, brother. After continuing on for some distance, I found another house and went to investigate. This house had an active wheat farm. If there was enough fully grown wheat, I could harvest and make bread. Eating that would stave off hunger for quite a while. Many people had left notes in this cabin. I looted up what I could gather from this house, then stepped back outside into the rain. I was concerned that all these messages and notes might give away my location to anyone hunting me. This is grown. Now I saw that three wheat plants were fully grown, so I harvested them, made bread, and then continued on. Bread. I walked through snowy woods and past large monumental structures, then came to a little nook. What is this? I checked my coordinates again to see where I had come. Along with my previous mark, this was about the path that I had taken from the spawn. I continued on on a trajectory directly away from spawn. Running along. I'm being pursued by Obama. I passed many ruins and then found something I'd not seen in a great many blocks. A little flower. Oh, an ender chest. I could peruse the provisions I'd put away earlier. Here, I'm taking the iron. I set up camp here and smelted the iron I'd stored. Oh, wow. I'm gonna make a shield. Best investment I can make. With my freshly minted shield, I took on some monsters. <laughs> Get over here! Attacks me? Yeah. I then continued on my way across some desolate fields. Let me put the boat down again. Okay, could we not, like, lag to Bejeebus right now, please? That would be great. Nope, time to go. Oh, there were squids. It looked like I was finally starting to see some signs of life. Silly gamers. Cozy little house. Now back on land, I found an idyllic house with a serene courtyard. Dirt. A chest of dirt. What seeds are these? 
pumpkin seeds. See, I don't even notice, like, grass, but grass is, is huge now. Looking back on where I just passed, I saw a word written with obsidian. This was likely an announcement that this group controlled the area. Hug the edge of the water here. I want to find a sheep, that's the thing. I was about to continue on another naval expedition when I saw something. Oh! A bunch of loot in the water. Did someone die here? Someone had likely been killed here. It could have happened an hour ago or years ago. There was no way to tell. Okay, what am I putting in there? I then decided to put my shulker box to use and store extra loot that I didn't need inside it. I trekked onwards and came to a very grief looking valley of exposed stone. I can't believe you've done this. It seemed like this had been blasted to bits. There could be some resource blocks unearthed. See, there we go. There's one. I should get some of this coal. It's a junkster. I'm getting a lot of iron, though. This is big. I'd gotten a good chunk of iron, so I set up camp to smelt. Level five. Impressive. 11 iron. It's only two. I then climbed out of this stone ravine and ran to a grove of trees. I should get an apple here. I'll take my time. What incredible good luck! Lucky apple, baby! Let's freaking go! In terms of... What?! Oh. Another apple! I'd only hit a few leaves and had gotten multiple apples already. Luck was truly on my side right now. This is insane. I next came down to a beach by the shore of a large sea. I think maybe the move then is to enter the nether and just start moving out from spawn. Three tall. Okay. With my nether portal built, I checked my coordinates once more. This was my journey in the overworld, but now it was time to travel into the nether. Ready to make another portal? I portaled into a closed room. Good. I needed to remain vigilant and undetected actually good. All right. The hallway I found opened into a cavernous area. There was lots of evidence of player activity here. So I'm hauling ass compared to like the overworld. The mushrooms. Right. Let's keep things moving here. Ooh, should I go low? Oh, restarting. I wanted to cover a lot of distance and then portal back to the overworld before that happened. Logging out in the nether would be a very dangerous move. I gotta go this way. The good thing is I haven't really lost track of my bearings, I don't think. I continued traveling across the biomes, cutting through narrow hallways that players had previously carved into the nether rack. Yeah, apparently, like, you showed somebody a character in a book, and the character would make them crash, right? I had to watch my step. Lava flowed like water here. We don't have much time. Oh, nice. Let's keep going a little farther. Let's- oh, I can keep going. A little bit spooky. Yeah. Time was ticking down. I'd covered a lot of ground, but now with only five minutes remaining, I needed to escape very soon. Hello, doggy. There were a number of portals here. Now I was a ways out from spawn, so it was unlikely that they were booby trapped, but it was still a gamble. Found an exit. Time for extract. So, this is what I'm thinking. If I leave through here, this looks okay. Uh, oh. Aghast, I needed to choose a portal and fast. I was in danger. Should I just take this one? I threw myself through the portal and I was out. I got an achievement for escaping the area close to spawn. In the few minutes I'd been inside the nether, I'd covered almost as much distance as I had spent hours traversing in the overworld. It seemed calm out here. My journey to escape the spawn had succeeded. The server reset and I quickly joined back up. My goal of escape had been fulfilled, so I decided to throw caution to the wind a bit and return back to the nether and go up to the abyssal plane level where players would likely be zooming around. Oh yeah. I was right. After a minute or so in this no man's land, I was finally tracked down by another player who was hunting me. They rather menacingly had me sign a book, then things went a bit south and I ultimately ended up joining a shadowy 2B2T Discord group. But all that is a tale for another day.
I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm currently live streaming on my Twitch. Come say hi and let me know what you thought of the adventure. Also, make sure to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram, as well as my thumbnail artist. This has been your friend Wellen, ending another exciting tale. I'll see you next time.